Hey everyone, to be honest, I'm a bit tired now and I feel like having something to eat. Okay, so this is gonna be my last tutorial for the day. Guess I will see other exercises maybe later on or tomorrow. I don't know. Anyways, today we're doing exercise uh, 4.10 from student not quite sure oh let me just read through the question first it's gonna be on 175 in fact it's 176 so what i want to do okay here is it right over here so it's it's a case birthday problem we're rewriting an existing code so rewrite listing 4.3 case birthday dot java the prompt the user will use the user to enter the character y for yes and n for no rather than entering y one for yes and zero for no that is pretty straightforward folks in fact i shouldn't have given a solution on this exercise but then i mean i thought why not okay it's on 162 because this code already exists so this is it right here i'm gonna read it through in case you're stupid enough not to have your own pdf okay so it's it reads like this okay so this is the case that i'm about to read so you can find out the date of the mind when your friend was born by asking five questions each question asks whether the day is in one of the five sets of numbers. Okay. This is the set of numbers. As you guys can see. Okay. So the birthday is the sum of the first numbers in the set where the day appears. For example, if the day, if the birthday is 19, it appears in set 1, set 2, set 5. The first numbers in the three sets are 1, 2, and 16. Their sum is 19. Okay, listing 4.3 gives a program that prompts the user to answer whether the day is in set 1, set 2, set 3, in set 4, and in set 5. If the number is in the set, the program adds the, num the first number in the set to date there is nothing else but a variable right okay so this is the program here as you guys can see it starts here and ends right over oh in fact it doesn't end on this page it still continues okay okay and please i'm assuming people they do have their own copy for this for this to work because like if you don't have your own copy then probably you might not see some of the things here properly and you would have a way and you would have to have a way to reference of and you would have a way to reference what's going on right okay this is it right i'm just in case people don't have their copy that's why I'm trying to make sure that people see what's going on. So here's an example. The sample line, we say we give, in this case, we give 0 or 1 for yes or no. So we're saying our number is yes. So we're going to add 1 to our thing on set 1. And we're saying it's also on set 2. So we add 2 again. It's not on set 3. We, we ain't adding a thing not on set 4 either so we're not gonna add a thing again and finally it's there on set 5 so it's gonna be 1 plus 2 plus 16 so now what we wanna do we were told not to use 0 or 1 for yes or no right so basically our program has to read yes or no a character basically so as you guys can see, I've already went ahead and gave a solution on this exercise. It's not uh, precisely as what we have 
I mean, it's not exactly as what we were given on on page one six seven. Oh no, I guess that guess that they did Java code, right? But it's almost like it. So I'm gonna. I decided not to record myself as I'm going through each and every step. But but then what I decided to do, I thought it would be better if I just give out a solution and then try to walk you guys through it because I tried doing that first. I, I you see, I could tell that it was taking too much of time. So I thought, I mean, why? Why don't I just type everything and then walk you guys through it when I'm done, okay? So let's get started. These are the sets here. So I'm not going to explain anything about this. These are the sets that we were given right here. These are the sets. So it's a matter of coping and pasting, right? So once I'm done writing the sets, I created the scanner, declared the variable to hold the day like 19 in our last example you remember we had to guess we had to I mean our program had to tell us what birthday was it right so we got 19 so this day will be will be responsible for the day right okay now basically here we asking if a user if uh, a user's birthday is on a given set, specifically is on set one, then then we simply display that set. Okay, this line is responsible for prompting. So the trick here, in fact, the crucial part is this one here. How do we re go about retrieving the answer? So we're no longer using dot next ints the same way we did on guess birthday dot java. Instead, we're using input dot next line. Next line does nothing else but to read everything on that line. By that, I mean, you see, if in case you decide to answer something like maybe you were asked to, uh, to enter a day to enter yes or no and to decide to enter zero or one and you decide maybe to enter some number like five and then you hit space and you enter some character w and then you hit space and enter some something else basically dot next line will read all of that right it's not only gonna read the first string it come across with right so i hope people are clear there right so we're done with retrieving our answer so so now the next crucial part will be to check if that if whatever we read on the entire line has a length of one there will simply if the answer is yes it will simply tell us it will simply tell us it's only a single character we read okay which is precisely what we need more specifically, we're looking for a yes or a no, a Y or a W. So this part over here will simply convert or in fact, it will simply convert whatever you gave this program to an uppercase, right? And if you convert that to an uppercase, uh, we check if what you get is y and if it's not y and it's not n then we know it's an error in fact i forgot something here and there is to check also that there is to check character dot is letter because you don't wanna invoke the two uppercase methods method on a number for instance so i'll simply put this here that's why we got to make sure that the very first thing we've got to check is to check is the very first thing we've got to do is to check that the user gave us a letter okay so okay the this first part here simply says the user gave us one 
I mean a single character right oh in fact I shouldn't have had that over there wow why am I why do I feel like I'm missing I'm missing something here okay again what I'm trying to do here I'm checking in that Oh, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Okay, I'm checking if this thing is a number. It has to be, It ha I mean, it has to be a single character, right? This takes care of that. And uh, if it is a single character, if it is not a single character, basically, that's what I'm saying. If it's not a single character, I'll draw an exception. In fact, I'll I'll not draw an exception. I'll display that we have an error if it's not a single character. And also, if it's or if it's not a if it's not a if it's not a character. Yeah, if it's not a letter, I mean, that's what I wanted to say. Right. Oh, in fact, it seems like that I should put right here. Okay, so if it's not a letter, I should have O over there. Okay, so... Ah, it seems like we're done. I'm checking if it's a, if it is not a single digit, I display an error. And if it's not a character, I display an error. So this part over here, we will only get executed if this thing is a character. So that's when we can be able to invoke the to uppercase method. Right. That should be it. I don't know why. I was so stupid. So we're done with that. So we do that for our first set. We also have got to do it for our second set. In fact, the only thing I forgot to do is to make sure that it is a character. Whatever the user gave us is a character. I can be stupid sometimes. What I'm making sure, what I'm doing is to make sure that if it's not a character, then I display an error. I mean, the idea is the same. I don't know, maybe people are lost. The idea is the same. We're doing one and the same thing. We're reading an answer. We make sure that we check if it's not a single character and if it's not, we display an error. Or if it's not a letter, we display an error, right? Or if it's not yes or no, we also display an error. The idea is the same for all of them, for all of these cases, I mean. Number one, we make sure that we check if the character, if the user gave us only a single character, Number two, we check if that character, if that single character is a letter, and if it's not, again, we display an error. Moreover, we check if the user gave us yes or no, N O Y. And in the way I did it, it doesn't matter. This would work even if a user decide to enter something like small letter N as opposed to capital letter N. So let me just, oh, 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 that was so stupid of me. Again, I need to put the negation there. Are we good? Sure we are. Oh, see, I made another stupid mistake. <laughs> oh, what else, what else, what else, what else? That's why I don't like copying and pasting some code. You see, you end up making silly mistakes. Okay, anyways, 
let me hit the run button and check out my thing whether it works or not let's just go y mm, yes and yes no okay so you guys n will do it and also capital letter n will do it you see we have 19 same thing they had here it's just that they were using 0 and 1 and we are using n and n y and and uh why so you guys i'm a bit tired i feel like this is gonna be the last tutorial in fact it is gonna be the last tutorial for the day that should be it you guys see you on the next one i'm gone